So, happy Tuesday. So, just go straight to the chase. Today, I'm going to have a pile of clothes over here, which I'm going to sort and iron and clean out my closet a little bit. Then I have this book that I want to finish. I already finished this audio book that I was listening to a few days ago. So I want to finish this other book, get my opinions on them. And then after that, I'm going to go on a run because I haven't been on a run in a while, which I'll explain as I'm going on a run. So without further ado, let's go. Here's how I start. I got one pile that's used for like clothes I go, I wear out, clothes I primarily wear. Then I got clothes, then I got a pile for pajamas slash underwear. And then a pile for clothes that I run in for exercise in. Hi, editing Sean here. As this little 30 second montage, well not montage, video of me folding the clothes is playing. Just wanted to give a little few words to, you know, keep it entertaining. As I get older, I begin to have more of an appreciation for doing little things such as folding and ironing my clothes. Um, it's not like I didn't appreciate it before. Those have always been calming to me. But I guess as I get older, I'm starting to further appreciate the little things. I've always appreciated the little things, but as I get older, that feeling just strengthens. Okay, that's it. All right, now I gotta clean out my closet cause my closet is a little bit, um, clothes aren't that really sorted out either. Oh, this shirt. This shirt that I wore back in uh, middle school with one of like the most cringiest pictures I've ever taken. Let me put it on. So, so now out of the clothes that I mainly wear, I'm going to want to pick out the outfits or the pieces of clothing that I'm most likely going to wear out so I can iron them. I don't feel the need to iron all of my clothes or fold all of them, if that takes a long time. Oh, wow, you're back for more um, editing. Sean, okay, let's um, just play piano while this plays. Damn, it's still going, okay. Um... Nope, nope, nope. No. Okay, bye. Now I'm gonna clean, just clean my paws a little bit more. Then after that, I'm gonna jump on ironing. So I'll see you once the ironing board is laid out. <laughs> clothes sorted good to go Woo. now i'm just going to finish my book and then i'll give my thoughts and opinions on the two that i've finished recently so see you then <laughs> oh my gosh okay, is this good whichever okay i finished the books and I just went on like a, like a close to 20 minute rant about it. And that's gonna, that, that's too long. So I'm gonna try and simplify it. So the book that I just finished was this book called Oasis by Dima Zales, which is basically about this kid. He gets a voice in his head that tells him that the world that he's in is not what it seems. So they go on an adventure to try and uncover the secrets of the world after his friend dies mysteriously and nobody remembers except for him. So how I felt about the book 
was it was really it was really action-packed he went inside these like he went inside this augmented reality simulations to you know gain resources to give the voice in his head enough power to control that world which was very exciting he was on the run from the higher ups trying to uncover the secrets my thoughts were like i said very action-packed very exciting very exciting book but by the end of it i was left underwhelmed because once they uncovered the secrets of the world nothing really changed or at the very least nothing was set up for the second book i thought they were going to do something huge that would change the world entirely but once they figured out the secrets of the world everything was just nothing nothing changed basically everything was exciting except the reasoning that the world was created was a little bit confusing but that may be just be on me because i wasn't reading it like and i was just reading it in little pieces so by the time i kept on picking it up it's like my memory of what happened wasn't as clear and the ending was a bit disappointing but overall good story strong start the start of it strong now the second book the audiobook that i listened to identity by Nora roberts definitely my favorite out of these two it was about this girl who got who started dating this guy who ended up being a serial killer who killed her roommate and then after she left that town to start a new life the serial killer was still trying to kill her it felt it felt sitcom ish like at first it felt sitcom sitcom like until the big twist came into the end but throughout it just seeing this main character build her life bring her life back despite this traumatic stuff that happened to her i felt it was very empowering was very inspiring and it was overall it was nice connecting with these people and just having someone start from square one like through and through and building her life together was really good even with like the fear of the serial killer coming back because he was leaving hints he was killing other people which was crazy the ending now my thoughts on the ending was that it was a it was a bit more it was too perfect for me it feels like they were doing so much setting up for the serial killer to come back just for like nothing too exciting to happen it was a bit too predictable i was expecting whenever he came there he would like leave a mark like he would do something very significant to where he would just do something significant that would leave a mark on the main character. You know, like in how in Stranger Things, where like by the end of the season, something happens like really big, like when Billy died or when um, just by the end of the season, someone dies and leaves a mark on you, leaves an emotional mark. I was expecting something big like that. I was expecting him to leave a mark. I was expecting him like at least injure someone or something but that didn't really happen it was a very perfect ending which is good like i'm happy you know good solid star solid ending but i was just expecting more by the end of it because they were building him they were building up his character so much like he was literally going crazy throughout the book even without being close to her so i was expecting a little bit more by the end of it i wasn't expecting this happy ending by the end of it but i'm glad you know i'm glad that she was able to still have her life insured so my thoughts on both of these books both have amazing starts both have amazing runs but the ending is where it slowed down and was a bit underwhelming but overall two good reads now what's next for me to read i don't know we'll have to wait and see time to run all right this is what we're going on a run in so let's head to the park Look who we have here. Looky, looky. You just, she just chilling. Don't scare me. Hi, editing Sean here. I'm editing in the car because I'm at work. I'm on break, so I'm editing. 
during break. No excuses. For the run segment of this video, I didn't get any footage of me running because my phone was on the brink of dying and it died two miles into the run. So I only ran like 2.7 miles. So yeah, I didn't really get much footage of that. So I guess cue the outro. Yeah, I'm at um work now and I decided may as well just vlog a little bit of the work that I'm doing. Um, I'm currently by myself now. I'm currently listening to The Great Gatsby audiobook. And yeah, I'm just sorting through shoes now. They got kind of messed up. Pretty chill job. I actually kind of like it. Been here for a few months now. Okay, that's enough. Peace.